Hello, Eleni Shear here and welcome or welcome back to my Fluid Art channel. Thank you for being here. Today I'm going to do a split base Dutch pour. I'm just putting down um, a bead of white, titanium white by Amsterdam just to uh, separate the two uh, sides of the canvas and I'm just going to put down the colour and then blow it out. My second colour will will be a custom mix grey, uh, sort of a dark grey. Um, and then I'm going to go with some lovely pinks for the design colours. So this is a Drew Barrymore hairdryer and it's a travel hairdryer. It's really nice for fluid art. Uh, I have it on the first setting, so not the fastest speed. Um, and that works really well. It doesn't have a cool setting uh, and that's perfectly fine. So here I am laying down my custom mix dark grey and it's a mix of table drippings, uh, black and white. So there's quite a bit of metallics in there. I, I just love using the scrapings from the table because you get really unusual colours and uh, unique colours. All my paints are mixed with one part paint, one part PVA glue mix, which is 60% glue, 40% water. And I use one part OA troll, which is the British flow troll. But you can use two parts glue mix. I, I do that sometimes as well, and it's absolutely fine. I don't see a lot of difference. And then I add water to my consistency. And so for my Dutch paint, I just like the uh, paint to sort of leave a tiny trace and then just disappear sh really quickly so it's not as thin as most Dutch pour paints I like to have them just a little bit uh, on the thicker side I find I get much more of a vibrant colour and um, better clearer details with um, it just a, a touch uh, thicker so now I'm just making sure that my sides are all covered, um, sort of dabbing rather than rubbing, just to make sure that the, there's enough paint on the sides for the, flow, uh, for the paint to flow over the sides nicely. My first colour is Persian Rose by Amsterdam. It's a really pretty soft colour. My next colour is Permanent Red Violet by Amsterdam and it's a really vibrant colour. This one is Iridescent Gold by PBO. Iridescent Violet Blue by PBO and this is such a lovely shimmery colour. Iridescent Silver by PBO. I don't use silver much but I think it goes well with the pinks. Uh, this one is my Payne's Grey mixed just with water. Uh, so I'm just hoping to get a little bit of lacing on top of the design by using this. So next I'm going to lay down a This Little Piggy pigment uh, sequins just on top of the black and that actually helps it sort of stand out a little bit more um, and it has kind of a purpley uh, iridescent interference colour. So I'm just going to use my blowtorch to get rid of any air bubbles before I blow it out. So 
So starting at the bottom here, I'm blowing towards me and then I'm just going to sort of crisscross in and out. So here I'm going to add just a little bit more colour and blow it out. I think it just needed a little bit extra there. But it's looking so shimmery and vibrant. The uh, red violet and the iridescent violet blue. It's just so pretty. And the Payne's Grey by Amsterdam mixed just with water has really worked well with some lovely lacing. So you'll see that when I bring you up for a close-up. So here I'm going to go in with a finger swipe, but I think my finger's a little bit too big, so <laughs> I think I'm going to use the end of a brush to continue. So I don't like what I did here where you see the arrow so I'm going to blow that out in a minute so that you don't see that, that swipe there um, and I think that fixes the comp composition. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. It helps this channel immensely and I appreciate it. Thank you. So here I am with a straw, just getting rid of that line that I didn't like and I'm just blowing out some edges as well. Here we are with the close-up and um, I just love that those pops of the pink, red, violet, really, really stunning. It looks nice on the grey base and where I put the Payne's grey and then the sequins on top of the Payne's grey, be able to see that violet interference coming through there. This is so beautiful here. A lot of lacing there. Pretty lacing here. Some lovely details, really soft. Here with the white layer, uh, grey.
body cells coming through there. Very shimmery, silver, you've got silver coming through and the gold here. Yeah, I like it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. If you want to see another video just like this, tap the screen on the left and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.